I'm so used to doing these um, long ass readings that doing like these 10 to 15 minute ones are like just so such a nice and a refreshing change and um, I've already done a few but I just want to keep going so I will let's see what came out worry worry I am more learning that worry doesn't change an outcome peace I am a being of love and I let go of all negative energy, worry, peace. At the bottom of the deck, we have abundance. Abundatia. Where's my deck? Oh, you want me to go in this deck. Gotcha, I hear you. Alicia Keys song again it's been following me a lot in the past two weeks um, and especially just one line um, you're like a diamond but she treats you like glass um, well actually I'm, I'm talking and I didn't show you the cards what came out was the fool is the fool the fool came out okay and um, at the bottom of the deck is the queen of coins or the queen of wands so we got here gold and green aventurine so this is us um, heart chakra and solar plexus um there's something that you are being pulled towards and on the one hand um you sense in your being at the core of you that what you're being pulled towards is going to bring you a sense of balance and the inner stability you need to nurture your own value and to grow in it but on the other side of that is uh, is this worry because, um, well, it feels like it's worry because you've never been here before. You've never gone in this direction. Um, there is something here. There is something here that is going to bring you a higher sense of independence and ability to prosper and I feel like it's something that you just kind of have to open yourself up to receive. For some of you, it's almost like this is your birthright and um, you've reached a level now where, where you're ready. Um, but at the same time, there is worry surrounding this. Um, when you think of almost like the logistics and the practicality of it all, and yet when you tune into yourself, your inner being when you when you do the Virgo hermit energy um, Queen of Coins is Virgo um, it's very Virgo but it's also Taurus and, and Capricorn when you when you when you do the, the self inventory it feels um, it feels true it feels right it feels correct and um, the worry comes when you begin to take your mind into external stories and narratives that don't belong to you but they're part of like your status quo or the status quo and when I say your status quo I mean uh, your conditioning your program what you've been told is um, a viable way to move forward in this energy doesn't match what your soul is speaking to you and when your soul speaks to you it feels right even though it might not make sense but when you um tune into the other stories of what you've heard um you know or what you've become accustomed to um believing there's this there's the, the worry comes i want to know more about the worry you're like a diamond but she treats you like some of you have been um Some of you have been, um, have lived your whole lives <sighs> you're like a diamond but she treats you like glass. 
you've lived your you've lived your whole lives in situations with other beings this came through in a reading like a week ago um when this song was coming through too you've lived in um i think it was the one about um how they try to bind you out of your gifts and they can't anymore if you're interested in the longer reading if this is your reading but you've lived in situations for so long where you've been devalued um and you've never had your true value um reflected back to you and I'm not only talking romantically I'm talking about in general parents siblings um the friendships you chose based upon how you became used to to living and there's some kind of narrative that um keeps pulling you back into this place of worry and it's connected to those stories it's connected to those people it's connecting it's connected to that foundation we have the Page of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Over worry. Oh, for fuck's sake. I was feeling it and I was like, come on, let's go in a different direction. And as soon as I say that, we got the Seven of Swords at the bottom. And you know, the Seven of Swords is um, shysty, shady shit. There's something... Mm. there's something here that as you move into this energy of like completeness and um you know um this energy also of being able to go within yourself and feel and connect with what feels right versus the things that want to you know that bring you peace versus the old stories and the the um you know matrix logic or um you know the status quo that want to tell you otherwise you're growing in this energy where you're able to find your peace by connecting um within and i feel like you have some kind of person being energy that is like trying to strategize against your ability to conquer them um so i'm looking at the king of wands and i don't know if you can see it but he's like dressed uh he's like a king well he is a king it's a king of wands and he's got this map in the back and he's moving his uh wand over the map and it just feels very um conquistador kind of energy like someone um like needing to conquer the world to prove their power kind of thing um to prove their worth um, you've got someone who's very, um, um, who is very competitive, uh, com 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 competitive for some reason. And, um, they don't want you to, with this page of pentacles, a few things I'm getting. One thing is like, they don't want you to overcome this childhood wound, um, and when I say the childhood wound, I'm referring back to, you know, the fact that you've never had situations with beings that have reflected back to you your beauty and your worth. And that began in childhood, 2355 on my clock, 555 energy. Um, that began in childhood. There's someone that uh, wants you stuck. They don't want you moving um, past to get to this queen of pentacles state and this is showing me like look he's a page of pentacles and he's standing um he's standing on a road and he is getting uh, ready to go in a different direction right because the the page of pentacles is going forward to to become a knight and then to rise into the queen and we've got the queen of uh, coins which is a queen of pentacles in another deck it's almost like you are on your way to becoming to embodying this queen of coins where when you begin to embody this energy fully um your your material reality is going to shift for you also and but you're right now in page energy meaning that you are in a stage of learning how to wield this power of knowing how to really go within and find your peace and really drown out the other energies 
I feel like um, you're teetering right now. Like you know how to go in and find your peace, but sometimes it's hard for you to stay there. So you still waver in this energy, still battle sometimes to um, stay in your place of peace and to um, and to and to work and operate from that place. Like um, you might still be in a place where you constantly have to bring yourself back. Um, and that's because there's a page energy, but it's being, you, you are, um, growing, you're, you're learning how to settle yourself in that becoming more, like, it's almost like you've got these scales of worry and peace, worry and peace. And the worry wants to outweigh, um, the, the worry wants to outweigh the peace. And, but then when you go within, you know, how to, how to let the peace outweigh the worrying and, um, it's almost like this energy wants to 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 um wants you not to do that. Once you both of these have maps, wants you not to advance. It's like you are um unlocking something. You're unlocking something with all of these maps. You're unlocking something, and this person doesn't want to get there before you. That's that like a uh, um a uh, colonialist like patriarchal um yeah I, i've got to get there before you kind of thing so in order to can control your reality in some way um but the trick the most important thing for you to know is with the seven of swords energy the trick is to not allow um the trick is to continue to divorce yourself from those um, external energies, narratives, and continue to learn to cultivate the peace within and to find your way forward by finding that place, by um, by going within. The, the, the going within and finding your peace and moving from that energy is what is rapidly taking you forward to your abundance, is what is rapidly moving you from the page of pentacles into the queen of coins. You get what I'm saying? It's almost like you're on a path to finding some kind of gold and it's your gold. And it's, uh, I just keep getting this map energy. It's your gold. It's your fucking gold. But somebody wants to get there before you and claim it as their own. Okay. And this person is cocky, brash, arrogant. They feel entitled. They don't feel like they um, have to have earned this because this feels very spiritual in nature with the king of wands. And while it's a king energy, um, it doesn't have to be a man. It can be a woman. Um, in doing this, it's also like they're trying to pull the wool over your eyes, which is why um, it's so important for you to trust that feeling of inner peace because the messages that they, that, that, um, they're wanting to wield against you, whether it's in your mind or it's with their mouths or they're using mental energy to fuck with you. They're all things that are going to want to make you go against your own peace and fall into worry and make decisions from that place. Okay. Um, we're already getting a kind of into this and I'm trying to keep these readings relatively short. So let's get you one karmic chronicle card and see if there's anything else that spirit wants to show us about this energy. Um, be aware of freezer spells and delay magic or any way um, somebody might be trying to um, freeze you in your tracks. That's really what I'm getting. Um, <clears throat> yeah, freeze you in your tracks. Accidental poisoning. Okay, so be aware of um, be aware of not only food, but be aware of your environment because people be doing some crafty shit this, these days, even, you know, trying to release chemicals in people's homes and all that other shit. So um, I don't say that to scare you. I say that to be, a, to, to make you aware, but not really make you aware, to bring confirmation to what you already know. Like if I said that and you're just like, your, your guides have been showing you that, then that's your message. If I said that and it makes you afraid that that's a possibility, this ain't your message, boo. Okay. Um, let's go into this deck first. Okay. Hmm. Um, some so for some of you, this person, 
doesn't want you finding your way out of a situation that um, you know you've you, you you've created from your own choices, but you created from a place of not knowing any better, and you created from a, a, a standpoint of having been um, manipulated out of your value over and over again. And um, I have creativity and ideas. Um, so this is where I'm, I'm, it's like they don't want you to uh, creatively, like whoever this is for, it's like you have to creatively find your way out of something to connect with, um, this is like labyrinth energy, <laughs> connect with your abundance and this person doesn't want you um, connecting with your ability to, to find ways out is really what I'm getting. So we have your money and your ability to make money. So they might be attacking your finances in order to keep you stuck to not only mess with your material reality, but mess with your, um, the mindset you need to bring in whatever you need to move forward. We do have abundance energy and mindset. So yeah, whatever they're doing is to mess with your ability to connect with what it is you need to move forward. Um, so we have autonomy, sense of, um, autonomy, freedom, and sense of independence. This person is uh, very much trying to attack that. And for some of you, they want you to believe that you uh, cannot make it without them, especially if this person is still in your life. And as I say that, your humanity. So this is about your age of Aquarius position also and rising into that place. For some of you now, as I look at this card and I see gold and that age of Aquarius um, energy um, that came out with that card, um, the thing that they don't want you to find has to do with uh, the previous golden age, the codes that are coming through. You have to be at a certain frequency to receive them, and they don't want you in that frequency. They don't want you connecting with um, this energy because it's what's going to ultimately take you away from them. It's going to take you away from them in some way, shape, or form. Okay, social media break. Social media and media break. There's too many influencing voices and energies. Okay, so you need to. Um, you've got too many. Um, too many voices trying to um, sway you into thinking or feeling a certain way, and you need to to check in with self. Um, or maybe that's what you have been doing because of this peace energy and, and you learning how to go within and everything. Uh, it says connect with herbs and spices, magic, ritual. And healing it says clean your space. Clear the energy out of your home. So make sure you're constantly clearing, um, uh, cleaning your space because it feels like um, uh, these energies of, um, they want to create energies of stagnancy. And like uh, whether they're using freezer spells or, or not. So continue to keep, um, try to, to maintain the energetic integrity of where you live so that um, your environment feels, um, doesn't feel icky. You know, that's kind of what I'm getting. Um, I don't know. This this feels like somebody who's in your energy, though. I don't know if you live with them. I know this is an ex of some kind. You know, like, um, but they don't want you becoming, um, they don't want you getting this because it means either they're going to lose something or it means that you're going to gain some kind of independence and they're going to lose something. Um, this is often the case for many divine feminines. They don't want you moving forward because they want access to your womb energy, but they don't want to treat you with value and they can all go fuck themselves because, um, most divine feminines are very free with their gifts when people value and honor them. And so the ones who don't want to can go suck a big fatty because we're done with you. I'm not just talking about men, I'm talking about all. Follow your creative impulses, lose the plan, walk away for a while to reflect and get perspective. You need to clear your head a lot in this energy. Um, um, you need to get away from it, get out, walk. Um, it's a good way to move mental energy. Um, yeah, it just feels like that you have to constantly be. It's like a mind battle here, and you need to um, you need to constantly um, be connecting with nature and yourself. Yeah, so that's what I have for you because this reading is a lot longer than I intended. I'll see you again soon.